in this video I'm just going to be going over the types of chemical reactions um, so you can probably assume the answer to this uh, essential question would be no because there are different types of chemical reactions. So our first type of reaction we'll talk about is synthesis and just like you might think of when you hear the word synthesis like synthesize or come together synthesis is when you've got two or more elements or compounds and they're going to combine to form something more complex so for my visual learners this is for you you'd start out this is just like um like a format kind of for the equation you start out with like your a and your b you can see them by these cute little circles and they just combine together to form AB, which now those two things are bonded together. Next we have decomposition, which is just when something breaks apart. So you think like things are decomposing. That's when you have your compound to start out with, and then it breaks down into smaller, simpler things. So it's essentially just the reverse of what we had on the previous slide for synthesis. So you've got your AB, and it's going to break apart into A and B. On our next slide, we have single replacement. Sometimes this is also called single displacement, but it is the same thing. And it happens when one atom, or it could be a polyatomic ion, so it's essentially like one um, ion or like chemical is going to replace another chemical in a compound. So imagine this is what you're starting with. You have, you have your AB, that's a compound, and you have C, which is the single thing by itself. And then it is going to replace the A and now the A is the single thing. So it's single replacement. A very chatty dog over here. <laughs> Say hi, Duca. I'll take you for a walk later. All right, so um, basically for single replacement reactions, you always have a single thing on the left side of the arrow and you also have a single thing on the right side of the arrow, um, our C and our A in this example. We have double replacement, which is really similar to single replacement, but as the name, name suggests, instead of having single elements replacing, they're all going to be doubled up or they're all going to be compounds. Um, so we're going to be starting out with two compounds and then the cation, remember the cation is the thing that's written first, so in this case it's going to be the A and the C. They are going to swap places, so you'll end up with CB and AD. And our final example is combustion. Just like you might know, combustion is when something is burning or combusting. And we're going to be starting out with something called a hydrocarbon. That's just something that has hydrogen and carbon bonded together. And the reason that the subscripts are just letters X and Y is because it doesn't have to be a specific ratio. That can vary, so those can be different numbers in there. And remember, for things to burn, you're always going to need oxygen. So you'll see O2 as one of your reactants as well. And then finally, your products will always be carbon dioxide and water because whenever you are like uh, burning something, you're going to release water vapor. And when you hear people talk about like the, the carbon dioxide or the CO2 emissions from burning fossil fuels, that's the CO2 that they are referring to. So I hope this was helpful um, and you can complete the assignment on the next slide and let me know if you have any questions.